Hello, Joe Carswell here with another training tip for you. This one is about the notch cut skills exercise. This is an exercise that we offer with a plan set that uses a single two by six board. Students will mark out a planned set of notches and they will cut them out with a circular saw and follow up those cuts with other hand and power tools. Let's take a look at these plans and I'll talk you through them. The setup is they mark out this board on one side according to page two, which has some very specific notch cuts and dimensions to use. Total of 11 notches. And the first phase of cutting these notches will be with their circular saw. This control and stopping in that corner is really important. Of course, they won't get all the way through this cut because of the round blade of the circular saw. So they'll move on. This, the last phase of cutting these notches will be using different tools like a hand saw, a reciprocating saw, or a sawzall to finish them out for a nice clean corner. The students can check how well they did on their work, at least on the first and third groups of notches. By using a speed square, they should fit in there tightly because they're 90 degree corners. I love this exercise because what it does is it puts the students in a place they haven't been before. They're used to taking this tool, the circular saw, and doing follow through cuts, either cross cuts or panel cuts, continuous cuts. Now they have to bring it into a board at an angle. They now have to manipulate, possibly manually lift that uh, movable blade guard, and they have to stop that cut before they get past the center line of that board. All this becomes control on this tool. They need practice in this, and we do this all the time in the field. And up till now, they haven't had or they haven't been exposed to this. So good luck with this exercise. I think you'll like it. You will find that the students will be challenged in every aspect from beginning to the end of the notch cut practice. So thanks for watching.